During this time, you and your family could be feeling a mixture of emotions. These could include Please remember that whatever you're feeling, it's normal and you're not alone. Here are some things that you could try that might make you feel good. Hey everyone! Um, sometimes when I'm feeling a wee bit rubbish just now, I like to go outside and get some fresh air. And it's, we've been really lucky because it's been nice and sunny. Um, and I also, when I'm missing school, I like to remind myself that St Albert's might be in Pollock Shields. The building might be in Pollock Shields. But just now St Albert's is in Fife with Mr Corrigan. And it's in Fort William with Miss Cohen. And it's in Hamilton here with me and it is with Miss McHugh and Crawford. It's loads of different places and it's in all your houses just now. Um, so when you're missing school, maybe you could try and think of St Albert's Primary School might be a building in Pollock Shields, but it's also a community that we're part of wherever we are. And that always makes me feel a little bit better. Miss you loads. My happy place has always been when I've got my headphones on and I'm listening to some music. And I've been doing it lots while I've been at home. So if you're able to, then you might want to find some time during the day just to put your earphones in and listen to some of your favourite songs. Good morning St Alberts. My top tip to look after your mental health is to just focus on you. So don't compare yourself to anybody else. Don't think, oh no, that person's better at that than me because you've got lots of things that you're good at and you need to just focus on them for good mental health. And if there's a day that you want to just stay in your jammies, then do that because that's looking after your mental health. That's what I'm doing today. Sometimes when I get scared or worried and my chest starts to feel a little bit tight, I'll close my eyes and I'll take a big deep breath in. And when I breathe in, I imagine breathing in all of the good things in the world, all of the good things around me. And when I breathe out, I imagine breathing out all of the things that are worrying me and upsetting me. And I'll keep doing that until my chest feels nice and calm again. It's okay to feel sad and upset one way to make yourself feel better. Think, is there one thing you could do today to make someone in your family feel better? And if you do that, it'll make you feel better because you'll feel proud of yourself. Hi everyone, this is my happy journal and I write in this book every day at least three things that are happy or positive that have happened to me that day. And just to remind myself that even if I'm having a hard day, there are always good things around us. And the quote on the front I love, and it says, when it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Just a little reminder that there are always positive things to be found. When I'm feeling sad, I think about being back at school rolling down a grassy hill, making mud pies at the mud kitchen, playing with the water at the outdoor tap and getting so wet, then having my lunch outside under a den that I've made with my friends and having a fabulous time. Happy days are ahead. In lockdown, I know how I'm feeling and I know that the whole world's in lockdown too. So somehow it's comforting to know that everybody might be feeling like that. And it also means I can think about how to help other people too. It's okay to feel scared. It's okay to feel frightened. It's okay to feel tired. And it's okay to feel worried. When you do, find something to do that makes you feel better. For me, it's smiling, taking a deep breath and lying on the floor. It's okay to feel okay. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to have fun with your family and friends. It's okay to feel good about something that happens. It's okay to feel excited. Just remember, it's okay to feel okay. I miss you all so much. Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing okay and looking after each other. I know it's not a very nice time just now because we can't see our friends or family, 
we're not in our usual routine. I'm missing you all lots. I can't wait to see you again when school goes back. So just a wee thing when I'm feeling a little bit down, I make myself a little den. And I bring myself in a cosy blanket, a big cuddly toy and a book. And the book I'm reading just now is called Little Miss Bossy. And my mum got me this for Christmas because she said when I was a little girl, I was very bossy to my brothers and sisters. I don't believe that for a minute. Anyway, look after each other, try to have a wee bit of fun and stay safe. I love you all lots. Bye. Hello everybody. Usually in the spring I love getting outside and going camping or going swimming. And that's what makes me feel really good. But I can't do any of those things at the moment. So every single day, I'm trying to make sure that I get outside, even if it's just in my garden, just sitting and reading a book or going out to the park. I've got so many lovely local parks, Pollock Park, Maxwell Park. So I'm just keeping super safe, going for a nice walk and coming back home and getting all snuggly under a blanket or in my sleeping bag. And that's what makes me feel really, really happy. You could have a go at doing that too. Distance means so little when someone means so much. Hi everyone. Each day when you see somebody, try to see them with new eyes. Don't remember faults or reasons to be upset. Try and make sure all your interactions are covered with love and kindness. Hope to see you all soon. Take care. Everybody, I'm here in St Albert's today and I want to share with you my favourite quote from one of my favourite books, um, Harry Potter books and Dumbledore says that happiness can be found in even the darkest of places if one only remembers to turn on the lights. I love it because it's so true. There are tough times but we can find happiness, we just need to remember to look for it and find that happiness. So what's your happiness today? Hello boys and girls. I hope everybody's safe and well. I've used some inspiration from Winnie the Pooh to make a poem just for St Albert's that suits you. Um, although we are apart, we are always together. You're braver than you believe, you're stronger than you seem, and you're smarter than you think. Always remember, you're blessed. You're wonderful, you are special, unique, talented, most of all, you're loved. Staying apart from family and friends is now an act of love and kindness. Hi St Albert, smile, be nice to everyone and always appreciate things. We are together apart, 